Hi, this is David McCam for WebTNG. This video is a first look at the Advanced Query Loop Block from Cadence. The Advanced Query Loop Block is part of the Pro version of Cadence Blocks. So you'll need that in order to use this new feature. I'm taking a look at the Advanced Query Loop Block so that we have an idea of what it brings to the table and perhaps some ideas of how we can use it. Now I've got a test website here. It's using Cadence Theme Pro. I've got some demo posts, but I also have a custom post type called Books here. And if we go to the admin and look at the plugins, you can see I have advanced custom fields installed. And I use that to create the custom post type Books. I've added a bunch of book records. If we look at one, we see here are the standard fields, the post title, the post content, featured image, but there's also a custom taxonomy called genres. And then down here, there are two custom fields. There's a URL field, a link to the author's website, and then a photo of the author. Okay, and so what we want to do is we want to use the advanced query block to create a listing of these books. And going back to the plugins just for a second, I have the Cadence Theme Pro add-on. That's not strictly needed for this video, but I just have that on this site. I have the Cadence Free blocks and the Cadence Pro blocks, so you will need those two. First, I'm going to create a new page and we'll call it Book Reviews. Okay, I'm going to publish it. And let's go look at the blocks here. Here's the query loop, the advanced query loop block. But before we look at that, I want to show you the post grid carousel. This is the post listing block that we had previously that comes with Cadence comes with Cadence Blocks. I want to take a quick look at that so you can see the difference. Okay, I'm going to select this type of layout because image on the left works well for those portrait style featured image book covers. Okay, and then I'm going to select that we're looking at books. Okay, so you see that was very easy to do. But now if we go look at the structure panel and click here. This is all one block. Okay, we can't add like a field in here or move these fields around. Uh, you see it was easy to do, but it's not very flexible. I'm going to delete this now. And now let's add the query loop block. And the first thing it wants us to do is select a query. And we don't have any, so we'll create new. And this is giving us the layout. You can have no filters, simple filters, advanced filters, filters on the left, filters on the right, or a very kind of thin content area with filters on the left. So first let's look at the simple filters. We'll choose that and we'll say simple filters book query and we'll change the post type from posts to books and we'll create and now it wants us to have a card this is the card for each item in the listing and we don't have a card yet so we'll create one and here we have some options with a query and with a query card. There's this option here to skip, but here we have image, simple, blog, or bio. And I'm going to pick this one. Okay, and I'm going to call it book card. And I'll create it. There's a change. We have these filters up here on the top. It's buttons. Okay, so let's tell it what taxonomy we want. We want genres. And then the images, 
What it's done here is this is a section. There isn't an image block here. What it's done is it's got a background image. Okay, and maybe you would like that if you wanted to lay some text over this or something. But I'm going to get rid of that and turn off the dynamic data for the background. And let's add the Cadence Advanced Image block. And we'll center it. And we'll use this database icon to select that we want to use dynamic data and we'll want it to be featured image. All right, good. Now it's our images are different sizes, so oops. So let's try setting the max width so that they're all now the same size. And notice that what we're doing is here, we're working with this first record, and then whatever changes we make here are being repeated. All right, now, before we go too much further, one thing I want to point out is there's a big difference now between what we saw when we were using that post grid and our query loop. Here we have a number of different blocks that are making up our query loop. It's not all baked into one block. We have these different blocks. And what this means is that we can move the fields around and add fields. So that provides a huge amount of flexibility for us because we'll want to try to add some of our custom fields. But before we do that, let's save and just take a look at what we have here so far. Okay, so we have our books, and if we do mysteries, we have C.J. Box and Karen McManus. Okay, if we do legal thriller, we have John Grisham and Lisa Scottline. All right, so we see the filters are working, and that's a nice easy feature to help your site visitors, you know, find the content they want, right? So let's go back here. I'm going to go and look here. Let's just try adding a block after this into this filter area. And what I want to show you is that there are several different types of filters. There's checkbox, drop down buttons, date, uh, reset, a search, and then no results. We're not just buttons. So if we try drop down, for instance, and we select that we want genres, and we give tell the label it's genres. All right, then we can go to this one and delete it. And looks like we need a little space there. So we'll give some margin bottom. Okay, and update that. Okay, and then let's go to the front end and see what we have. All right, so there's another option. Then before we go too far, let's try adding the filter checkbox just to see what those look like. Okay, so we'll go to our label and we'll say genres and then we'll choose that it's the genres custom taxonomy and checkbox display. Let's display it in line. I'm going to again Add a little margin bottom on that. Let's take this one off and update. And here we go. Okay. 
So there are the different types of filters. Now I'm going to remove this. Let's do the more advanced filter options. So we just have a simple filter, so let's create new. This time we'll do advanced filters. And we'll say advanced book filters, and we'll set it for books and save. And now it wants a card, and we're, let's just use that same card that we had before. Do the label and update and refresh. All right. Okay, so you know you have also the count here. So okay. So there are those options there. I don't think I really need the sort option, so I'm going to delete that. And instead, what I'm going to do is go to the query, and let's order it A to Z here. Hmm. I think I have to refresh. It's gotten kind of confused. Okay. There we go. Okay, now let's see if we can add some custom fields in. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the card and let's go to background color and give it a light background color there. Okay, then let's try here. We'll add a image block and we'll line it center and this one will do the author's photo so we want it to be a post custom field and it found the image field there okay then let's set the width of it to be let's say 125 and let's go to style. Let's give it a radius of say 100. All right. <laughs> we have the buttons here. Okay, so now I'd like to have a button to go to the author's website. So I'm going to add a button. Okay, I'm going to go visit author website, and then I'm going to enable dynamic data, post custom field, and I want it to be author's website. Let's try clicking on this one. Go to advanced and margin right. See if we can separate those. Okay, I'll update and save. And now let's go refresh. And this is going to the author's website. Awesome. Okay, so one last thing to show you. Let's make sure that's saved. And that is if we go to the Cadence Blocks menu down here, there are two menu items here that are relevant to the Advanced Query Loop Block. The first one is All Queries. These are the two that we created and saved. And these we could use again on some other page. If we wanted to or needed to, we wouldn't have to recreate them. And similarly, this is the card that we created. 
Okay, so you have a little library of these that you can reuse in different pages and contexts. All right, so that's our look at the advanced query loop block. Now let's have some discussion and conclusions. As we saw, the previous post grid block is easy. The Cadence Advanced Query loop block has several advantages over it and other post blocks like it. One, it's more flexible because it's composed of a number of inner blocks and the user can add, delete, or rearrange blocks. Two, as we saw, you can add custom fields when using the Advanced Query loop block. And three, the new block supports a number of front end filter options. We looked at button, drop down, checkbox, search, and sort filters. The filters were easy to use and are a nice feature to add to a listing or a grid. We're able to filter on taxonomies and a few of the standard post meta fields like author and date. If Woo is installed, then the filters work with products also. Please note that while the front end filters are good to have, they're not at this time on the same level as solutions like Facet WP or WP Grid Builder. Those solutions have more types of filters and also allow you to filter on custom fields. When preparing for the video, I noticed that the advanced query loop block does not work in Cadence template elements for archives. Also, when testing, I ran into an error where the Cadence Advanced button block seems to have its settings duplicated for all the rows instead of just showing for the first record. But I guess this is version 1. While there are some limitations and bugs, the Cadence team has said that version 1 is the foundation for building out more features. So in the future, we can expect that the block will be usable for more use cases. They have plans to continue to expand it. The Cadence Advanced Query Loop block is a good addition to the collection. The Cadence team has kept Cadence blocks fresh and relevant by periodically updating them and continuing to add new advanced blocks. For example, they also recently released the new repeater block to work with ACF repeater fields. Okay, so that's my first look at the Cadence Advanced Query Loop block. There's a text summary of the video available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Thank you for watching.